week late again. I'm sorry. We are an oldie again. We're trying somewhere new today. We're in Santa Ponza in Mallorca. I've never been before. Uh, so you're going to see me, Lee, and my partner Hazel, and possibly a special guest this week. And it is today the 7th of May, and this is special for Naomi. And it's a lovely sunshiny day. Um, I think it'll get a bit hotter later. So what I'd like you to do this week, if you would, is join us as we find a number of reasonably priced places to eat that offer really good value for us British tourists and particularly us Yorkshire tourists who like the best value. Um, so I hope you will enjoy and we will speak to you in due course. Evening all, it's our first evening in Santa Ponza. Um, we've been doing our homework, as you might think we would do. Uh, we're not too sure what to make of this place yet, but we have been recommended from reviews. A little place here behind the trees. Um, I believe it is Chinese. And I believe it's called Good Taste. Um, I think it's number 178 after 3,000 restaurants in this area. So there's no menus outside. Whether that's a good sign or a bad sign, we're not sure. But we're going to walk over and give it a go and tell you what we think. So our first start has arrived and um, that is prawn toast, strictly reserved for Hazel. Um, it's come, it seems um, medium warm and um, we're noticing here we're in, we're, in, we're in quite a busy place. Um, it's a bit like a bus station, in fact we're stood outside next to a bus stop and we're possibly at danger of a little bit later on of people stealing the food as, we, as they walk past. But anyway, try anything once. So our second starter is here and it's um, fried girls or dumplings. Um, I'm not sure if they're fried or the steamed but um, we'll find out shortly. So we've got the main course rolling out now and um, Hazel's gone for a um, chicken and mushroom with some noodles with and oyster sauce. with oyster sauce and is it looking all right so far yeah looking all right and my fried rice has arrived here with um, nothing else nothing else yet but we'll uh, <laughs> we'll see what turns up shortly right my sizzling mixed plates turned up here and um, it's definitely sizzling it's spitting on me here I dare to say this will be a nice dish. So give this a go. And um, as usual, I'll let you know what we think a little bit later. So, that was um, the Good Taste Walk. Our first night here in Santa Ponza. And we're going to score this. Um, we don't normally score stuff, maybe we'll start doing that. So, if you're hungry, it's a good place to come. The food is well priced, um, it's a bit rough and ready. Um, there's a bus stop outside for your convenience, and you feel like you're, you're definitely living, living with what's going past. So, how did you find your food, Hazel? Average. Average? Yeah. And um, I believe he said it was too salty, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the so prawn. I've got a takeaway because I can eat all oh, of got a little takeaway for later. Bit. That's lovely. And so you thought the prawn toast was a bit lacking. However, you did eat it all, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I was starving. Yeah, and the noodles are a bit salty. And um, my special platter um, was again, it was. I ate it all, it was tasty. But um, again, it was a bit salty. A bit salty. So I'd give it a five out of ten. A five out of ten. Well, I would be generous and give it a six because the portions were good. The service was all right, to be fair. Um, it and it seemed were 42 euros. 42 euros. For starter and a main and a drink. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. So we'll see what tomorrow brings us. We're down the main street in Santa Panza, or it might be one of the side streets actually. And, um, 
looking for something nice for lunch. It's uh, really hot now, I think it's about 27, 28 degrees. And um, I've got to try out this little place here called the Dutchie. I think it's supposed to be Dutch cuisine, but we shall see. Oh, hey, hey. Hey, so there's Ellen Anthony. Have you ordered, guys? We certainly are. Lovely. Are we? So the Dutchie restaurant and we have our food has arrived and we have a very chunky looking hot dog and chips there. Um, I think it's a German one um, as pictured by the German flag so that looks lovely and um, a standard hamburger there for Hazel, a few chips on the side, um, looks a bit pale but anyway we shall see and uh, the club sandwich again looks alright. So we'll, get, we'll get this down us and let you know in a minute. What do you think of that, Anne? Yeah, it was alright. Paid for what I got. Um, my German sausage was really nice, to be fair. Yeah. It was um, quite authentic. Chips were a bit average. That's yeah. about it, really. What did it come to? Um, I think it was six euros 95. It's so not too bad. Each, and I got yeah. a beer with it, so yeah. we're about 11 euros. Yeah. Yeah. And would you come again? Um, for that price, yeah. But, oh, fair enough. Yeah. We might visit it later in the week. So we're heading down the high street again at Santa Ponza and uh, we've been doing a bit of research and we notice there's a lot of trees on this street so you can't see anything but behind these trees over there there's a little cake place called the Bombay and it seems to have some very good reviews so I think we might give it a try we'll tell you what we think after let's cross over see if we can see it a bit clearer has come and it looks like we've got some um, fish pecoris <laughs> and some no chicken pecoris <laughs> um, and I think I think they're shorter plates because they're both on the same plate but anyway we'll give it a go won't we and our final start has come and it's um, Anthony's sizzling plate here so there's a bit of everything on there isn't there there's, there's some chicken um, some um, chamois kebabs, Sausage. a bit of lemon. I think that's a chamois kebab. Um, and it's sizzling away, lovely there. So I will get stuck into that before it gets cold. Thank you. Good one for you, okay? Perfect. Hello, nice. Another one is coming. Thank you. So our main's rolling out now. So as you may expect, I'm trying out the biryani at this establishment and eat. It does look pretty good, I have to say, and I've got that with a madras sauce. Again, looks pretty good, steaming away there. And Hazel's gone for something slightly different. I believe it's a corn, corn. King prawn, get it right. Yeah, and our, thank you. And our special guest, Anthony, has gone for... Um, beef Vindaloo, I've gone Beef Vindaloo, and that looks bloody gorgeous as well, I have to say and um, some garlic nans on the side and, and some chips as well because we're British well. there's some chips on the way as well so we are going to get stuck into this and we will be sure to bring you a report shortly right so that was the Bombay Indian right in the middle here of uh, Santa Ponza uh, we've had a few beers as well and um, so we'll start from the beginning so 
the starters were absolutely fabulous so we had the chicken pakora and the fish pakora strangely served on the same plate but it wasn't your standard rubbish it was all cooked from scratch and um anthony had a special kebab oh yeah mixed tandoori yeah kebab. mixed tandoori mixed tandoori and it's absolutely fabulous and this thank young you. chap here works here and i have to say the food was absolutely fabulous thank so you. thank you very much thank, thank you, the chef thank you. The spices were spot on thank you thank spot you. on and then we moved on to the um, lamb biryani and again absolutely perfect lovely spices and you had your karma with prawns yeah um and you got a good taste of the coconut yeah, and the condensed it. milk yeah. perfect yeah. Yeah. and then um anthony here had something that which i'm afraid blew his head off yeah. but yeah, it was expected vindaloo vindaloo it, it was tasty i wish they got the madras because it was probably a little you, bit so you might go for the madras next time but it tasted good and yeah. that's what i ordered at the perfect end of the day, perfect so, yeah. so yeah, it yeah, came yeah. to 87 euros. Which we thought were reasonable for all the food. For we all had. the food yeah, we had, yeah. really reasonable. And we're going to rate it. So I'm going to rate it eight and a half. Nine. For nine. Me. And Anthony. Just because of the spice, seven out of ten. But seven, it was ooh. still nice. It was still but nice. perfect. So, yeah, yeah. So join us again tomorrow, yeah. and we'll try and find somewhere that um, meets these standards. But I'm not sure if we will. Good evening, it's Monday night. Um, we're having a bit of a nightmare finding places that are open. Oh look, noisy motorbike. Um, so we're hoping to go to a place over there called Malgret's for some Spanish food for those of the viewers that would like us to eat Spanish food. So we've done the Chinese, we've done the curry. And um, Anthony's locating another place for us now. It's called Wayne Tavern. Wayne's Tavern. Wayne's. So we're looking for Wayne's Tavern. Wayne, no, one eater tavern. <laughs> Wayne's tavern. We'll call him Wayne. Oh yeah, there's Wayne's Tavern. Right, we'll get in there and have a look, see what see what's on the menu. Oh yeah, it's um, a bit of tapas. So, look at this menu. It it looks reasonably priced, to be fair. I think. Yeah. Does a bit of all sorts, doesn't it? Right, so random night, we'll get in and see what we think. So our starters have come. So this is like a mixed tapas starter and I believe there is um, pizza inside some, meat inside others and cheese inside some of them. And there's a little selection of sauces here. So we'll get started on this and let you know what we think. So our maids have come now, so we opted for um, the steak strips with potatoes or you can have them with a with a side salad, um, but we ordered a, a, like a house salad as well and um, I have to say it all looks pretty good and um, we're going to get this down as next and we will catch up with you in a few minutes. Okay, so that was the way in a tavern. We just popped in, didn't we, on the off chance. Yeah. Um, the starter was really very nice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was we all enjoyed the it starter. Was amazing to be but fair. the main was a very disappointing. I mean, it was, well, it was. It was meant to be rubber steak, wasn't it, with potatoes. And it was 15.90, and all it was was strips of rum, which was quite nice, but just um, potato wedges. Okay. So, my frozen, small. All right. So, so my, not very nice. So my opinion of it was like the steak was actually really tasty. Um, you wasn't a huge fan of it, were you? No. Um, sort of potato wedges that came out I thought was pretty underwhelming and considering like the starter that we got beforehand we were quite like 
underwhelmed, weren't yeah. we? Like, and the sauce was tomato ketchup. Yeah, and then the price was 50.95, which I thought for that, with potato wedges coming out, you expect something a little bit better, don't you? Yeah, so it was yeah. slightly disappointing, and I would give it five out of ten. So what was your total price? 82 pounds. No, 82 not euros. euros. 82 euros. So, so for three? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it and everybody's still hungry. Right, so have you got a score? Five out of ten. Five. I think that's a little bit harsh. I, I'd say with the start of being that good, I'd say seven out of ten. Seven out of ten? Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. So, we're doing a bit of a random tonight again. So we've come into what looks like the old village. Can't really see from there, but anyway, there you go. The old village in Santa Ponza, spelt various different ways. People get twitchy about cameras around here. So, this is the Royal Garden, and um, take a look at this menu. In various languages. <clears throat> anyway, Hazel says we're giving it a go. Okay, just gonna say we got that place down there. Right, so our starters have come. So I've got um, a selection of Spanish sausages, um, which was on the tapas menu. Um, it looks pretty good, I have to say. And Hazel's gone for the Camembert. Fried camembert. Again, it looks pretty damn good. And um, that's just gone for some bread. Oh no, there's some prawns there, look. Um, prawns in oil, and again, that looks pretty damn good. So we will get into this and see what comes for our main course. So our mains have come, and um, Hazel and I have ordered some lasagna and chips because we're British. A green side salad. Um, not so much green, but anyway, we'll give it a go. And um, pizza there. What type of pizza? Um, it's Diablo, so it's quite spicy. Spicy pizza, yeah, yeah, and that yeah. looks pretty good as well, I have to say. So we will get ahead with this and uh, catch up with you shortly. So that was the Royal Garden Italian, and we've gone over the hill into the village of... Um, where the square is in Santa Ponza. Where the Ponza. square is in Santa Ponza. Yeah. And uh, different atmosphere here. There's no, there seems to be no bus stops, no hustle, no traffic. Anyway, so down to the food. So we started, uh, myself and Hazel started with, well, I started with the sausage selection, Spanish sausage. That was absolutely fantastic. Um, followed by the lasagna. And again, absolutely fantastic. The sausages were brilliant. Um, so my score would be an eight and a half, which is pretty good. And Anthony, probably a slightly different experience. I'll let you so, explain. Okay, so like I had the garlic prawns to start with. Quite expensive, they were about 15 euros, but they were unreal, and that's exactly what I wanted. However, I got a pizza, um, and compared to your lasagnas, which I did try the lasagnas, and they were like amazing, um, the pizza was just really average. Um, tastes a bit like cardboard and what? compared to the rest of the food like I just thought it was average and not as good as your guys to be fair like because they chose wrong yeah chose wrong so what was your score so out my today? overall score was especially with the price I'd say about seven out of ten and I bet some of you guys are thinking like I'm the killjoy in these reviews but I'm just saying what I'm getting really like yeah Hazel, what's As your score? As for me, I really Hazel enjoyed. Cameraman today. I really enjoyed tonight. Yeah. And I had the camembert, which was lovely. Right, camembert. One yeah. Eight. And yeah. the lasagna was lovely. And I'm going to give it a nine. I thought a it was nine. delicious. That's pretty good for you, Hazel. It is. Yeah, because I enjoyed it. And what did it come to? It came to ninety-nine euros twenty-five. For three of us. So. That was with two beers. I think the beers were overpriced. The beers were overpriced. If it weren't for the beers, it'd only be about seventy euros. Yeah. So. But it, I would definitely re recommend this place, Royal Gardens. Yeah. Definitely yeah. worth it. Just I enjoyed it. Just don't get the pizzas. Yeah. No. Everything Not else their was really. No. Everything no. else was really good. Yeah. Like I'll probably admit, it's probably the best meal yeah. I've had so far. Like just got a pizza hut for, for your pizzas. Yeah, yeah. Pizza yeah. Your All pizzas. right. Yeah. See you later on. Yeah. So we're back in the Irish quarter again, and um, 
we've been recommended a place, a little place here over the road called El Taibo and um, I think it's predominantly um, Argentinian cuisine so it'll be, it'll be meats and what have you but uh, we're going to give this a go and as usual we will let you know what we think. So our starters have come and I think we're going to be quite full here tonight so we've got uh, av avocados with the uh, prawn cocktail and hazel's cocktail, one of their favourites which you see prawns in oil uh, and it looks fabulous. Yeah. And, um, I think uh, it's maybe it's delicious. It's got some sweet bread. Yeah. Apparently, that's a starter portion. So we'll see it's how we get. It's definitely, it's definitely not. Right. So his main course has come. So Anthony's gone for a ribeye steak. Um, with uh, he's already put the sauce on. Yeah. So lovely. sorry. It looks fantastic. <laughs> And um, myself and Hazel have gone for a mixed grill, which is absolutely fantastic. And it comes with a, a chopping board of chips each and a bit of salad on the side. So, I'm probably not going to be disappointed with this, but we'll let you know, Sean. So, that was El Taibo, and unusually, we're doing our final thing at the table because we've been waiting a long time for the bill. Um, and um, we have the bell. Thank you. Yeah. So we've been brought the dessert menu twice, and um, anyway, the food was absolutely excellent. I have to say. Um, but apart from waiting for the bill for a very long time, I can't tell you how much it is because we'll be here a while. But anyway, Hazel, what have you got to say? Right, well, I really enjoyed it. The food was absolutely gorgeous, but wait nearly half an hour for the bill, so it's going to affect the taste, let me tell you that. Oh. Um, yeah, I thought it was really nice. Probably my highest review of the week, I'd say 7.5. Some of you will be thinking I've got high standards. The only issue I have with it, I wish that um, I'd have asked for it medium. It's medium rare, it's a bit too on the rare side. I should know that anyway. But overall, really good, it's all right. Yep. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's a 9.5 for me for the food. It was going to be 9.5, but I'm going to take it down to a 9 because of the very long wait for the bill, which is ridiculous. So the slightly smarter end of town, and it's time for lunch, and we've found a little Greek place here. Um, seems to be uh, some sort of nightclub by night, and um, a lunch place by day. Um, I can't find the name of the place. Be. Oh, there it is. Ellipsis. And um, they seem to do a range of Giros, which is what we are after. So we're going to get in here and uh, let you know what we think. <coughs> Lovely lunch has come, so a few chips and um, Hazel's got a pork and chicken gyros. Um, she says it's not a kebab though. It looks very much like a kebab to me. Well, it don't. I don't like kebabs. Do you like kebabs? No. And I've got the, the standard pork and that looks fantastic as well. So that was the Chiringo bar and we had um, a Greek gyros dishes, they were lovely, really, really nice. Wouldn't you just like a kebab? Yeah, but it was nicer than a kebab because I don't like kebabs. Fair enough. And it was, um, Bill came to 22 euros and that with two very packed gyros as well, and uh, some chips and a drink, and it was lovely, and I would definitely come again. How many out of 10? 10. 10 out of 10. Yeah, perfect, perfect lunch. Yeah. We'll speak to you again soon. Hello. Have you found somewhere to eat? Yes. Have you? It's called Zorbas. Zorbas. Yeah. That looks alright, doesn't it? Let's take a look at the menu. So it's like a nice Greek place here. And they seem to have a reasonable size menu, which probably will mean 
you're not trying to cook too many things at once looks like a one-man band so we're gonna get in see what they've got to offer and uh, let you know later on right so our food's coming our final night in Santa Ponza um, Hazel has gone for some feta cheese is it fried it looks like it yeah it looks yeah. like it's fried mm -hmm. uh, and I've got some tzatziki sauce with some squid rings uh, some bread on the side and Anthony's got some octopus octopi I should say right so our mains have come and Hazel's getting started already and you've got a lovely piece of lamb is it lamb shoulder the look of it um, with some nice um, potatoes a bit of salad looks absolutely fabulous and uh... yeah I know he is I was thinking the name of the dish so I've got uh, gyros. a gyros there which um, as a plated meal um, doesn't come as a sandwich and I've got the same so we'll give that a go get this down his necks and um, give you our evaluation shortly right thank you for joining us this week uh, and our little journey in uh, Santa Ponza in Mallorca it's the first time we've been um, probably have to say it's not for us it's for young drinkers and it's um, certainly not that on the value side so tonight we went to the Zorbas here behind us and it's a lovely little place uh, Greek it's a one-man band there's one man serving cooking and washing the dishes uh, and he's very gracious so he served us with some octopus um, with some squid rings and some feta cheese and that was all cooked very nicely and we followed that on with a plated version of a gyros and Hazel had some lamb and it was very nice indeed um, maybe she said not the absolute best she's ever had but price wise Trish it was absolutely middle of the road so we can't complain um, it came to about 70 euros including the beers the beers were expensive uh, but for three of us I really can't complain so we'll catch you in the next holiday